doing an MBA at CAS can change your life. And as a new group of people set out on their own personal MBA journeys, it's a good time to look back at some of the success stories of CAS in recent years. One of those success stories is Susan Cooper, the Chief Executive Officer of Acular. Now, Susan also completed an executive MBA here, and Susan is with me now. Susan, just give me uh, a little taster of what Acular is about. Acular really has worked to developing a new trainee model for the legal industry. And the reason for this model is because there's so much going on in the legal industry right now. Effectively, what we do at Acular is we recruit graduates as trainee solicitors, and we second out the services of those trainees to our clients um, with a view to them being trained there in the same way as they would be. But obviously, there are a lot of advantages for both the clients and the trainees going through this process. So you've both really sort of advanced in your own career because you had a legal banking background, but, right. but also you've gone off and you've become an entrepreneur because of what you learned at CAS. Yes, yeah. So at, at CAS, when um, I completed the executive MBA, the dissertation I did really focused on changes in the legal industry and what was taking place. And I guess from there, there were several issues that were really worrying me about what, where the industry was heading. And in particular, actually, I was looking at some blogs from graduates and noticing the huge oversupply of graduates we have in the industry, people that are desperate after many years of studying to get into the legal profession. Um, and there is an issue with, with this sort of uh, backlog, I guess, of, of graduates, but also firms really being put under pressure from clients, from changes in legislation to um, their own model. And so the Acular trainee model has really tried to respond to a lot of the pressures that law firms are under, primarily with a view to keeping jobs in the UK, because one of the big alternatives for firms that they're looking at right now is the legal process outsourcing industry, which looks to actually ironically take large chunks of trainee level work and outsource it to low cost jurisdictions such as India and the Philippines. Now, I've no doubt there's a place for that in the industry. However, if that's done in a way that jeopardizes our future um, numbers of qualified lawyers in the UK industry, clearly that raises issues. So what the Acular um, training model tries to do is make the, the training of future lawyers far more attractive to law firms and in-house legal departments. You're keeping jobs in the UK? Certainly, that's, that's the, uh, the main aim of the, the model. So if I can just finish by asking you, what's your advice? There are people who are about to set out on MBA courses. Maybe they hope they're going to be where you are in a year or two from now. What's, what's the main piece of advice you can give them? Look, the, the MBA, the executive MBA has done nothing but good things for me. Um, if it's so far as even looking at business from an overall perspective, being able to understand the dis different disciplines and how they interact with each other has been a huge benefit for me starting up my own business. But there are so many other benefits that are attached to the executive MBA, particularly in, in relation to having an opportunity to speak to people that are your peers, but have come from very, very different backgrounds and industries, and really having the, ch the chance and the time to listen to their opinions and their views, it almost gives you a broader outlook on business. Susan Cooper, Chief Executive of Acular, thank you very much. Best Thanks very of luck much. with thank your you. business's future. Thank you, Alex.